Hello there friends, I hope that you're doing well. So here we have a uh, light bulb uh, from Xiaomi. So this is the Xiaomi smart uh, bulb. It's an RGB smartphone and in this video I'm going to show you how to sync your uh, monitor or your TV with the light bulb. So when you're watching a video or a movie it will uh, the the color from the light bulb will sync with uh, what you have on the screen and it will create a, a nice uh, atmosphere okay so uh, what you need to do is to search on google for yellow toolbox and you will get to this uh, result from forum xda developers.com and here you will find all the info that you need but I'm going to show you exactly step by step because it's not exactly that easy so first thing you need uh, uh, the app called the Yellight installed on your phone uh, from Yellight you click on the button on the third icon uh, you click on LAN control and you need to enable this option also you need uh, your uh, computer and uh, light bulb to be on the same uh, Wi-Fi so you need a router a router and both the computer and the light bulb should be connected on the same uh, network uh, developer mode LAN control enable for each device so we got that computer and ELI devices connected on the same local network. We have that as well. .NET Framework 4.5 or later. The uh, thing is if you have Windows 10 you should have this already installed so not an issue. Then you need uh, a program called Slim DX and User Runtime which you can find from uh, this Google uh, Drive folder so this is the program Slim DX SDK and uh, by the way I will link this uh, I will put this link in the video description and also you need the latest Yellite toolbox software so I already have this installed Slim DX program and also have the yell light toolbox installed so the program looks like this and once you run it for the first time you need to do here a refresh and it will auto detect your uh, Xiaomi light, uh, light bulb and it will display its IP then you go to the media tab from the program here you can select your uh, monitors in my case this is the primary monitor which is a Dell and uh, the second one is uh, Fujitsu but it's displayed like this with this code name L22 so by default we have this one I'm going to show you later how to sync it with your TV as well so the best settings in my opinion are uh, auto brightness checked, average color checked, refresh rate you lower this setting to minimum which is 8 milliseconds. This means that uh, the, the change will be to 8 milliseconds. I mean if on the screen you will have red color it will change right away to red or to blue depending what you have on the screen if this option is set higher it will have a bigger delay and screen scanning to 5% I've played I don't know exactly what this does but I've played with it and I've noticed that this is the the best setting and then you click on start and the uh, light bulb right away will uh, take the average color from the screen
so I have here a demo video from YouTube and as you can see this is just a simple pink and blue color change so when the screen is blue the light bulb will be blue as well and when it's pink it will be pink okay so let's see the cyberpunk 2077 trailer So it will take the average color Now the thing is uh, this can be useful for TVs because I don't think you will want to use this uh, with your monitor when you're staying at your computer but uh, probably for TVs uh, this will be very useful at least I've tried it uh, to watch a movie with uh, the light bulb on and uh, it was uh, I think more fun to watch and uh, yeah uh, how to set it on your TV as well and I wanted to say that this probably is cannot be compared to the TVs that have an ambient light built in but uh, it, it is something probably it will be awesome to watch uh, the Matrix movies or uh, Star Wars because those have some very nice editing and uh, colors so yeah, this was the cyberpunk uh, uh, trailer and probably you made, a, made an idea. So how exactly to set it on your TV as well? Well, uh, the TV needs to be connected to your computer to the video cards. I have uh, a TV that connects to my computer through uh, HDMI cable once it is connected it will appear here as another display and I can select it uh, and then uh, that's all I select it and I click on start and it will uh, uh, start to I mean the, the bulb will uh, change the color depending on what's on the TV now the only issue is that uh, I don't have one of the best TVs and uh, usually now if I connect it and I click on uh, start it will give an error uh, the only way I found that I can fix that is to just uh, keep the TV connected restart the computer and then start everything once again and click on start and it will work just fine but uh, without the restart it will show an error I guess if you have a more advanced TV or maybe a better video card I have a, a pretty good it's an RX uh, 580 from uh, Radeon uh, with four ports I think and it's, it's quite capable but uh, probably the video card or the TV is causing these issues but it's not a problem if you have an SSD you can just restart the computer and in uh, 20 seconds it will be up and running and you can just start uh, this program and uh, just enjoy the, the movie okay so I hope that uh, you found this tutorial uh, useful Uh, as I said I will just leave this link in the video description it's it's not that hard to to set the, the bulb up uh, once you know what you need to do hopefully there will be no issues 
So yeah, if you have any questions, please leave in the comments. Uh, please subscribe if you found the video useful, and uh, thank you for watching.